Hey there, day 82, now in Chennai, India. And I've been doing my time. And how much time did I do today? Checking the digital dial, 45 minutes. Most of that was on the plane as I flew here and sitting in the airport waiting. This is kind of a neat, wild thing to help me keep track. If you notice, the blue means that's where I'm at in the reading of the script. So I finished both of those and started actually reading The Rookie now. A uh, couple of reflections and learnings from uh, notes. I took notes on my phone here. When I was reading the end of the Miracle script, so I just started in The Rookie, but when I was reading the end of the Miracle script, and I got to the fact that they came to meet the Russians again in the hockey uh, game in the semifinals before they went to the gold medal round. And it was an interesting contrast that they depict. And this goes back to why uh, movies are a visual medium and tell the story visually. And it was uh, really cool noticing how even in the script they give a little description of the contrast between the last time they played the Russians, which was 13 days earlier at an exhibition game uh, in Madison Square Garden, and how the young USA hockey team was so scared and intimidated, which they really showed that in the film. Now when they're meeting the Russians on the ice, it's actually different, that they, they have this look of determination. And I love the Herb... Brooks uh, speech when he says, um, actually it's mentioned in some other movies as well that they refer back to it, but it, uh, when he says, you know, they might beat us nine times out of ten, but not tonight. That's just a great speech, well written. I don't know if it was actually what Herb said or if it was the, uh, the writers, but phenomenal uh, motivational speech. And then, uh, so it really contrasted just when they took the ice, the difference in their attitude. And it kind of reminds me also of that hero's journey going back, going down under. It's almost like you could tell they were coming up into the uh, into the ordinary world again after the underworld. And then uh, also just an interesting tidbit that in the, ver the version of script that I wrote or, or just read, um, one of my favorite lines when Jim Craig, who's the goalie, uh, refuses to take the psychology test that uh, Herb gives to all of his, Herb the coach gives to all of his athletes on the team, and he refuses to take the test. And there's just a great line that must have been added later on when uh, when he's pulling Jimmy out of the game, and he's like, no, 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 I've been working you too hard, and it's not fair, and I want to take another look. And Jim Craig gets really mad and upset, and he's, <laughs> he says, uh, no, no, no. Or yeah, uh, Jim asked the coach, are you mad because I wouldn't take that stupid test? And he goes, no, 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 I want the kid in the net that wouldn't take the test. That's just a great line. So obviously that got added later. And then um, it's also interesting too that they really focus on the Russian hockey game because they were the giants. They were the Goliath, if you will. And so even in, going up to the gold medal round, they don't even show the Finland game, which is actually the game that won them the medal. So this is enlightening, too, because even though that was very much a part of the story and that was the win that put them over, we just hear her mentioning this in a voiceover. We don't actually see any of that game. Again, uh, as Alfred Hitchcock says, real uh, movies take real life and pull out the boring parts. Not that that game was boring, it wasn't boring at all, but the the meat of the story came from uh, the Russians who were favored. So, uh, interesting insight. So, got it done, uh, my time today, the 43 minutes, 43 minutes, 43 minutes. So, making progress, even though I'm busy, I'm on the flight and found time to uh, keep reading, so getting a little intimidating by actually having to come to the writing part, but I think this, uh, this groundwork is crucial. So I made some progress. How about you? See you tomorrow. Stage time.